here in the end of with poems for two parts of a poem that I want eventually to write about Paul. So um, my daughter who's down there uh, is very interested in textiles. I like learned a few things from her about them and I just find them very fascinating. So I started writing these um, well, it's just a two-part poem at the moment, but I hope there will be more parts. It's called Hop. Uh, linen, tenacious, delicate as memory. Memory, a cave we get lost in its million chambers. Raw linen, recovered from caves the Dead Sea deep. The Isaiah scroll found complete in Cave One, Qumran. Linen wrapped parchments in Aramaic, in Hebrew, the power of cloth to keep. Under Pinochet, Chilean women refused to lose their disappeared. They applicate stories, secret messages into worthless women's work. Their brightly colored arpi, arpieras, tunnels, sang out like nightingales. The power of calm to speak. I don't quite know why I wrote this poem, but it just came to me as a, an image, a vision, or whatever you want to call it. And I call it lightning rod. A woman stands at the porch railing. The saturated weight of unrealized precipitation bears down on her. So much air in the sky, why, then, is it hard to breathe? A thunderhead purples the horizon, unstable, primeval as it nears her porch. Go ahead, she cries out, set fire to my hair, cauterize my throat by lightning, shatter the balls of my feet. <laughs> I don't know why I wrote that. <coughs> I just pictured this woman on the, on the prairie, maybe going crazy, going stir crazy or something. And then I guess you call this a little love poem. It's called How the Ocean. How the ocean loves its shores, laughing, laughing, laughing up. It flings and empties, pulls the shore under and in. This is how I think of you, laughing me up, casting yourself on the shore, into me, part of you on my edges, part of me in you, rinse, gravel. Ripple, sand, sea glass. I think I'll read a few from my, uh, my book. <laughs> 